You have one, sir. I was just going to say, I thought originally you said all sentient All sentient beings, yeah. Which would include yourself in that. As well, yeah. As well, yeah. 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 So if you extend it to all, you're extending to others, and then you have to extend it to yourself. Whichever. <coughs> Why not just focus on one's own self? Happiness, okay. Happiness, just focus on one's own self. What we did up to now? And you know the suffering, so, suffering is also suffering so one's own self. What we did up to now? We have been trying this up to now. We have been doing this. Did we really achieve all the happiness? And did we really solve all the suffering? We have been doing this since childhood. Presumably, because if you are separating yourself, then it's very difficult to extend <laughs> other people. Uh, how? Yes, I have very good, uh, very good question to this. So I say it is not possible, okay? I, I, I say it is not possible. <laughs> but then you will ask why. Are you going to ask why or? Very, <laughs> <laughs> I think you are. Yes. Suffering, I have to choose a very wise way also. 
solving the problem. That is to solve the other's problem. And my problem will be automatically solved. That is the wisest thing, you see, and the bravest and the best method. To solve the suffering of so uh, suffering and source of suffering, other sentient being is the best and wisest way to solve one's own problem. And to make others happy means means equally I will be very very happy. If I just focus myself, I want to be happy. I don't want you to have myself happy. Who will enjoy? <laughs> no one will smile to me. You see, I think they will see me as like a terrible human being. I will have no friend. The wisest way to achieve happiness for one's own self is the, to achieve happiness of other sentient beings. Once we succeed this, our own self will be no problem. It will be solved, you see. And then we make the mistake. Then we make the mistake. We always try to try to help one's own self first, and then we don't achieve the happiness, real happiness, reliable happiness. We try to solve our problem as much as we oh, let them suffer. Just I want to solve my problem. It doesn't solve our problem. If we solve the problem of the other sentient being, and then there will be many people who are ready to come and help. In my case, look, in my case, oh yes, uh, me being as a Tibetan refugee, we suffered a lot. But having many good friends, I think it really helped me. In my life, it really helped me a lot. Now I'm able to help some a few people in India and a few people in Nepal, you see. Because of the help from others, other friends. If they didn't help, what can I do, you see? If I really remain myself as a very selfish monk, I think no one will love me. And no one will develop friendship with me. And then I will be left alone. And then I think ultimately I will not be able to solve even my problem. That is the reality. This is true. I hope I answered. <clears throat> no possibility. Still we didn't, we didn't confirm whether this is possible or not. Transforming our mind into loving kindness, compassion. Is it really possible or not? Is it really possible or not? It looks beautiful, okay? it looks very good. But if it is not possible, then even if it's good, then there's no point to practice. So is it possible? Is it possible to achieve loving kindness and compassion? Is it possible that our mind one day can be transformed into slowly, slowly, okay, slowly, 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 slowly my experience of my experience of uh, uh, transforming my anger. Okay. Uh, I think I will tell here.